Looks like we landed on Mars, hey Rady? <laughs> Just rocks. And uh, we're apparently the first boat to pull in off the COVID. <laughs> Welcome to Sailing Lady Africa. I'm Ricky and this is my wife Simone. After two years of hard work on our boat, she's finally ready to take us from South Africa across the Atlantic to the Bahamas. Be sure to join in our adventures by subscribing down below. We were starting to experience some not so fun weather on our route to Namibia and the swell started to pick up from what was a predicted 3 meter became a 4 to 4.5 meter swell due to the oncoming current. It's a huge one and then there was nothing at the end and the boat just went like this. But you don't feel it but my eyes see it. <laughs> We didn't sleep that night and lost our microwave in the process because we never secured it properly. So I opted to pull into Luderitz and rather bunker down the weather passing through. So we're going to be pulling into Luderitz. Um, this weather's just gotten super gnarly. We're going to Luderitz and just hang out there until this weather passes and then we'll make our way back to the office. The next day the swell had calmed down a bit, but the swell would pick up again soon. We also lost a piece of our tuna biltong drying on the swim deck during the night. Brady, how did you sleep last night? Like a, like a baby. Girl. Like a baby, but babies wake up and cry a lot, so... I slept nicely. <laughs> I think you sleep nicely yeah. last night, Brady. Oh. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> well, was baby. That was really on me. <laughs> Welcome, welcome my son, welcome. Uh, All the hatches closed. Yeah. average speed for the last two days you know we were getting hammered thank you at you beautiful thing I've never in my life imagined I'd miss you so much looks like we landed on Mars hey Rady Rocks. Rocks. That looks cool. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and click on the notification bell to alert you every time we upload a new episode. And like this video, it's a free way you can support our channel. Our trip from South Africa to Luderitz took a whopping four days. Arrived on the Sunday but only checked in the next day, but that's alright, we needed some sleep. So we've been, we've been arrived in Namibia, we're in Luderitz at the moment and um, we checked in here because of the weather was super gnarly and uh, it supposed it was going to get worse so we decided let's pull into Luderitz and we were the first boat they've allowed in since COVID. So we were pretty excited, they said if we came anytime earlier they would have had to turn us away. So we're pretty glad. Um, we're super keen on exploring this little town. It looks so cool and we can't wait to show you guys. 
getting our tender mobile going while we wait for the uh, Port Health Authority to come around and uh, then we'll check our COVID tests and uh, we're apparently the first boat to pull in off the COVID that's going to be at the louder shore which is pretty cool and uh, it seems like the procedure is pretty easy wait for the Port Health here they check out the COVID tests once they say yay we go to customs and immigration after that we go to port control and then we free to roam get some sim cards get some cash and go explore and then um, we'll probably tackle any boat projects that we need today and then play the rest of the day and i think there's a weather window on thursday to get out of here and then we up to walfers bay but so far it looks pretty cool here it's like, like a i don't know mad max movie kind of area but it looks super awesome and the people so far have been super friendly so looking forward to it busy setting up the outboard he's got all the glenn's got the oars in case yeah. we no, glenn's got the oars in case we need to row <laughs> wadey's in charge of yeah. tent yeah. operations we're in a minute Mad Max. Volume two. In the Have you seen our built one drying up front there? In the sun, in the wind. Hopefully we're gonna have tuna built on and not get sick. A one piece of built on that actually made it surprisingly. Seems to be working, so hopefully. How's it going? Good. What are you checking there? The engine. How's the engine working? Are we good to go, Mr. Engineer? <laughs> you gotta be aggressive with it, Sticks. There we go. Ricky went off to fetch the health official to check our COVID tests. Since being the first boat allowed post-COVID, we were the guinea pigs. So we waited a bit, but with the help of Gary, we managed to get all clearances and check into Namibia. Wadey, we're on land. Yes. We made it to land, finally. How do you feel? Good, finally all the ground. <laughs> Baby, how do you feel? I feel good that we can check in. I thought we were going to miss it another day. So since being the first boat, uh, everyone's not too familiar with the procedures, but it seems like we're going to make breakthrough now. That was close. Wade made a new friend, his first friend in Ludorus, <laughs> little Molly, she's so cute. Catch her Molly! We opted to walk to the Nest Hotel for dinner which was recommended by locals as a celebratory dinner, but the wind was blowing like no other and we thought Port Elizabeth was bad. It's a long way down at the speed of sound. Oh, my love. Lady Africa was officially a globe trotter. Since it was recommended to not use our water maker in the anchorage in Luderitz, we decided to use a laundry service while it was still affordable. And look for a replacement microwave. Here one of our subscribers found us wandering the streets and opted to show us around town, which was awesome. 
The bay on which Luderitz is situated was first known to Europeans when Bartholomew Dias encountered it in 1487. In 1909, after the discovery of diamonds nearby, Luderitz enjoyed a sudden surge of prosperity due to the development of a diamond rush to the area. Although situated in harsh environment between desert and ocean, trade in the harbour town surged and the adjacent diamond mining settlement of Kormanskop was built. Luderitz is known for its colonial architecture. So we're having some lunch. This nice restaurant. I want to show you how cool my um, table is. <laughs> now you look. <laughs> All of them on their phones, catching up on their latest gossip. Got the Namibian local brew. Half a lot. Of, ten out of ten. So me and Mr. Wadey did some work this morning. Now it's bright time. There's a bit of a wind coming this afternoon again. We're just chillaxing, making the best of the time we have here. Yeah. I had to learn how to ride a dinghy. I got it nearly first try. Well, I, di I did. And then I just practiced docking. I practiced coming to the boat and stopping. Um, I didn't tie a knot properly and the boat went nearly to shore so I had to swim out and fetch the boat and it wasn't nice. Yeah. So yeah it's uh, Wednesday today I think. Yeah. We're still in uh, my favorite Ritz which is Luda Ritz and uh, we just uh, the skipper's making us some cool steaks because you know that's how we roll and uh, Wadey was doing his dinghy learner's license today we did some uh, general boat checks and maintenance checked some rudder stanchions we checked uh, mast tensions etc just uh, I guess run of mill safety stuff and uh, we're enjoying the no wind see Luderitz with no wind could be in the Caribbean right now it's pretty cool so there's two types of uh, wind in Luderitz. The shit ton of wind and waiting for wind. Those yeah. are the two two states. Okay, so how do you go, Ricky? You go like this. Ciao, ciao. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> <laughs> so we've made the tuna biltong. It's like five days of drying now. And now we're going to give it a test. You know. Doesn't smell very good. It smells pretty fishy. What do you think? It smells really fishy. It smells pretty fishy. So we're going to give this thing a little slice and then we're going to get the crew to try it, make sure that it's, it's good to go. Okay. Give it a bash. There we go. Hum, hum. Too fishy. Too fishy. Too fishy. <laughs> Oh, it stinks. Smell like sardines. <laughs> Smells like sardines. Oh, you took a big piece. <laughs> ah, can't. Shit. I suppose the air will shy. Wish we could have been there as well. Ah. 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 Shit. That was long fin tuna. That's probably. Oh. <coughs> yeah, that also tastes pretty strong. Yeah. Good morning, people. On this crazy morning, we're exploring the mystical ghost island. We're going to the ghost town today. Got my ghost shirt on. Woo! We took a trip out to the ghost town known as Coleman's Corp. The town started to decline during World War II when the diamond field slowly started to deplete. By the early 50s, the area was in severe decline. The town was ultimately abandoned in 1956. The geological forces of the desert mean that tourists now walk through houses knee deep in sand. Oh, my first diamond. Yep, the white diamond. It's pretty cool stone, though. Red to Coleman's Corp. Is this quartz or what rock is this? comment down below because Ricky says it's a different rock. I said it's a bush rock. I said it's 
Coleman Scope is popular with photographers for its setting of desert sands reclaiming this once thriving town and the arid climate preserving the traditional Edwardian architecture in the area. Oh, nice solid wooden floor. If I was a real estate broker, this would be a typical thing to say yes. She's just a little fixer up, a bit of paint and a good clean and she'll be good to go again. Good solid wooden floors. Comes with friendly, friendly hyenas. Power outlets need to be checked. Well, they should be good. Well ventilated. This is crazy. Never had sand for carpet. Walk in closet. <laughs> this house will go deep. You can see it like pulling out from the sides. This would be a beautiful house. Would be massive. <laughs> this climate here, though, like it's it's harsh, not a lot of vegetation. Um, it's very deserty, rocky. It's very cool, though. It's a very different vibe because you'd expect normally when you're on the ocean it's like tropical and stuff but get a chance it's the ocean next to the desert lost the grandy boys in the desert these houses had the most beautiful wooden floors the most beautiful windows and the most beautiful wallpaper After a while of searching, we managed to find Glenn and Wade. I'm telling you, man, Wade's found his room. <laughs> and uh, oh. Oh. Simone, Ricky said he was going to get you guys a holiday house in Namibia. You look what he's found for you. This is a oh true gem. My this is like Karay Karay. Yeah. We'll, ha we'll have to report this to the... To the oh, power outage. Yeah, power outage. Man, yeah. they've only had an outage for... Electrician's so not... <laughs> electrician... The electric is not... Not working. That's called phase six load shedding. Coming <laughs> <laughs> on in a hundred years. <laughs> anything because the roof is off. Right, can I come for tea? Yeah, come for tea. Yes. Hey, Glenn. <laughs> Got us a holiday house. It's four bedroom, no bathroom. <laughs> the guys found some copper wire and opted to have a little competition who could make the coolest thing. I'm not too sure what Wade was making. Broke his head off. <laughs> Really, Ricky? Really? Nice, Ricky. Classy. Classy. <laughs> classy, classy. Is that a gun? Yes, it's a gun. <laughs> pew, pew. Oh, it's, it's, it's my man. I'll show you. My man. My man. My man. He's got a tail. Hola! You meant from cold months. That's awesome. The desert is definitely <laughs> taking over. <laughs> we we got to get him some water. <laughs> That's what happened to this town. 
Stay tuned till next week as we finish exploring Luderitz and continue our trip to Wolfus Bay. Don't forget to subscribe below if you haven't already and give this video a big thumbs up. And if you'd like to join the Lady Africa family, you can do so by clicking on any of the links in the description below.